Hello everyone, welcome to Razor Space and Space Mechanics Simulator. This game was just released to Steam today. I've had it on my wish list for quite a while, and we will see how it goes. Uh, it's priced at $15 normally, but it is available for now for $12. And yeah, uh, it's only one gigabyte, which is interesting. So we'll see uh, what kind of content it manages to fit into that. Uh, as far as the options are concerned, it has various language options. I suppose that's all probably text, uh, though there is a voice volume. Uh, you can see I've cut down the overall volume here just for reference. There's plenty more loudness if you want it. Um, graphics are like this, uh, so I'm uh, it defaulted to full screen window and I've kept it like that. The graphics quality very high. Um, base anti-aliasing, that seems to be the max. Um, additional anti-aliasing we've got like that and field of view can be adjusted but I'll, put, I'll leave it at default just to see how that works out um, it does seem to like controllers uh, it has these three options in but you can configure your own controller here um, define custom gamepad I'm not using gamepad I'm just going to use mouse and keyboard and they have the settings there and with that we will proceed uh, name go. Uh, 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 I'll I'll pretend uh, since I'm starting out as a junior mechanic, I, I won't be as old as I actually am. <laughs> uh, let's have normal. I don't know what I'm getting into here. Uh, it's basically based on money. You get less money for completing missions, and your suit resource usage is higher with uh, expert mode. Okay, and there is only sto story mode, so we have a breathing. The the EVA controls are basically what you would expect it to be, but okay, up, up. That's forward and back, and we see the thrusters there. That's fine. Interesting. I wonder if it's reading some of my other controllers even though it's not supposed to. Like I have a joystick and throttle, so... Let me see the oxygen, energy, and thruster fuel on the side. Okay, well, we've, we've already pressed that. Okay, well we have a license granted. I really don't see like a velocity vector though. So like... Well, well, I guess this thing down here might be trying to tell me where I'm pointed right now. Conversation history. Ita. Okay, artificial intelligence training assistant. Great. And uh, they couldn't afford a real trainer. <laughs> AI on license is granted. Okay. Objectives. Okay. You can just slow down. Uh, for some reason, slowing down tends to push me to the left. A lot of things tend to push me to the left in a way I don't understand. Okay, current suit resource levels, yeah. Flashlight control, hold L. Okay. Flashlight is very powerful, so we'll lose energy. Except for the constant drift to what is currently the left. Everything is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, well, boink. Okay, so as long as I hold left on that, I replenish my resources. Re resources are free during training. Uh, I didn't read that message. I guess if we go to conversational history. Now, I have let go. And I'm accelerating that way. Practice door control. Okay. Well, okay, let me get back in there. I hope they allow modding, because I could get a better shuttle. Okay. Lever. Oh. Let's try it out. Okay. So it's closing. Okay. I don't really want to detach the cargo bay door. Hangar gate is a weird way to put it, too. Okay, well, I guess we have to do this.
Well, I guess it wasn't... Is it detaching? No, it's not detaching, it's just opening. Okay. A2 license! Oh, uh, wait. I need... okay. Spelling. Okay, I think it was my joystick that was controlling stuff. And now I'm very far away. Um, it's the, there was the little throttle on the joystick. I've also disconnected my actual throttle quadrant. So I recommend disconnecting any other controllers you might have. And then it controls fine. It's a little bit of an annoyance. I think I should replenish my thruster fuel before doing anything else. Overall, the controls are fine. They're basically what you expect them to be if you're used to flying in space. But obviously, with the limited oxygen and thruster fuel and all that, and the fact that we're due to be repairing stuff, um, this is very similar to hard space ship breaker, but in that case we're not really repairing stuff, we're destroying stuff. So I guess there's a plus side to actually building and fixing things, but still we're gonna be charged for oxygen and so stuff like that, so. Okay, well it just brings up this hub screen like this, it's not actually looking at the screen. Wonder if our movement is paused while we're in this view. I certainly hope so. Um, Twenty thousand euros, apparently. Uh, okay. Missions, basic training. Interesting. You can work with large and heavy objects. Ah. In order to discourage inefficiency, mechanics always have to pay for resources they use. On the upside. We will always be interested in buying extra resources. Okay. Missions panel. Finalize mission. This is where you can accept new assignments. Um, I guess I wanted to move heavy objects though. I got no money. Choose another mission. Oh, there's the basic maintenance training. That require that uh, requires a three. I was supposed to get a three. Basic trainings are free of charge. Oh, they just granted me my a three license, but I haven't moved anything heavy. Are you sure? Right, you can work with large and heavy objects. I haven't proven that. <laughs> I haven't demonstrated that. Hey, it didn't take my name. Did I fail to... Wait, I guess I failed to save that. Oh, it su suddenly switched to electronics. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I thought... Let me just... I had not set my name. Alright, well, I guess we should do this, right? Three. Okay, except, and my heavy breathing. Um, there are training sets prepared for each course. You will find everything you need somewhere. Oh, well, that panel. Okay, off we go. Well, it's definitely better with all my controllers deactivated. That shadow is shadowy. Okay, curved panel. Alright. At larger distances, information will be displayed on blue background, but when you're close enough to interact with an object, interaction will be shown in green. You cannot move while interacting. Well, it's probably for the best. You can still look around. I can look around. Zoom in for a closer look. Okay. Open the panel. Mouse middle. Or right side triggers. Mouse middle. Oh, okay. Um, 
screwdriver icon. Oh, those are the screws. Oh, I tried to do this one, but it didn't let me. Oh, now I'm moving. Okay. Oh, now I got that one. Okay. Okay. Remove the cover itself. Just point at it and press mouse left. Mm, okay. Sorry. Yeah, well, it's down here right now. I wonder where the screws went. These are important things when you're working in space. Usually it's necessary to close a valve before you detach a pipe. In this training set there is nothing flowing through the pipes so there's no leak risk and the valves are only being closed as part of the exercise. Okay. Okay, you have to go in circles like this, I guess? I don't know. Hmm. No, it's definitely not telling me that this has been closed, so... How much spinning around of this do I have to do to close it? Oh, no, it's happy now. Looks like a lot of spinning. I turned it the other way before, but now it wants me to turn it this way. Hmm. Weird. Now it's highlighting this one again. Okay, now it's happy. I'm, I'm still not too sure what the rules for that were. But, okay. Select wrench. Uh, uh. I guess I got it off. Maybe this all makes more sense with a con uh, like an Xbox controller. Somehow I got the other ones done, but I don't know how. So wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, um, those that got removed. Okay, detach the pipe. Okay, put the parts back inside. You can find them in your quick inventory. Pipe. Okay. Mount one. Mount two. We'll put the bolts back in. So up, down, up, down, up. Okay. Often forget to open valves after completing their tasks. It has recently become a mandatory part of the exercise. Okay. I think I guess it's open now. Okay, well that part made sense. The way I opened them. We need to open an electric box now. Sparky. Okay, electric box cover. We don't need to det detach the screws. Okay, screwdriver. Did I get it? Can't even see. I need my flashlight. Here we go. Okay. That detached the screws, right? Okay, I've got the cover off. Single PLC controller here. There is no program loaded. It does not perform any function, but it has power. Now detach the battery next to the electric box. Well, I guess we have to... Did they select wrench? Oh, they're telling me to get the wrench. Okay. Uh, oh, do we have batteries? Sorry, do we have screws at the bottom? Yeah, we have screws at the bottom. Okay, we've detached the battery. Look, come on. Okay, look at the PLC controller again. It has no power. Put the battery back into place. Okay. Old firmware that do not switch on automatically after power has been restored, they have to be reset manually. Press the reset switch on the PLC controller. Are you a reset? You're a reset switch. Which one should I press? Okay, I guess both. 
you need to remove or disconnect the power source. It's your responsibility to restore the entire object to its working state, so you may need to reset some controllers after finishing repairs. Okay, well. Okay, it does skip tell us what tool we need, so that's nice. Okay. Ah, what was that? Sort of getting the hang of it. Ah, why, why does it go fuzzy though? That. Uh, maybe I should turn my light off. How do I reduce my light? Here. Exit insertion mode by choosing fly away. Fly away. I am one license has been granted. Okay. Alright, time to go to the hub. Whoa, it, it is getting fuzzy sometimes. Okay, shuttle. I'm happy that it is a shuttle. Oxygen went low much faster than anything else. This is not a good thing. I, I don't understand why it suddenly gets blurry. As, uh, there wasn't any motion blur thing. Okay, we're all filled up. Okay, missions. Maintenance level 2. But we could do this diagnostics level 1. We could also, uh... You need to take a leak. I, I wouldn't mind getting paid, I suppose. It's blocked. These these seem to both be toilet missions, <laughs> which which is fair. Something is leaking. Check if it is not a pipe. Well, let's finalize this mission first. Ah, uh, mission accomplished. Yeah, we've got that sort of screen. Shall we? First mission. Let's do this. Repair pipe. Okay. Well. That seems to be a pretty big panel. Okay, we are in focus mode. I need my screwdriver. Okay. Detach pipe. Well, wrench time. Oh, we should turn it off first. Is it off though? I hope so. Uh, it seems to still be on. Repair pipe with personal... Interact with personal hub. Hold on. Can I... Oh, I can't bring the pipe back up because it's not a good pipe, I guess. Okay, so... Fly away. We need to, uh... Get a new one, I suppose. That auction... Oxygen depletes pretty quickly. Well, we can repair it, so I select that pipe and I say health 21%. Well, let's repair it. Insufficient resources. Shuttle resources? We've got all these things. Aluminum, aluminum rubber, steel. My resources. We have to buy resources from the shuttle. I hope I'm doing this right. Rubber, five, four grams is all I need. Probably I'll need more than what I'm picking up anyway. Steel. Did they give me a discount for volume? I should get a discount for volume. Okay, can I repair now? Yes, I can. Okay, so that works. That's health 100. This, we need more stuff. I'm losing money here. Okay, aluminum we have enough, rubber we have enough, steel we have enough. Why can't I repair this? Doesn't seem to want me to repair this. I'll, I'll buy some extra, fine. I mean, we'll probably need it anyway. 
still doesn't let me repair it. Weird. Maybe it doesn't need to be repaired. After all, it only told me to repair this bit. But this seems shady. I mean, the game should let me repair that one too. Because it's definitely damaged. It says so. Right? Yeah, it's definitely damaged. Alright, let's see if... Um... Just repairing that one part works. I don't need to refuel or anything right now. If it tells me to repair the other one next, I'm gonna be annoyed. Earth looks okay. I mean, considering the size of the game. Okay, well... I don't know if they'll always tell me what exactly is wrong. Is that okay now? I can't tell whether it's okay. Are you happy? Are you happy, game? Okay. Alright, going back to the personal hub to get another mission. So, uh, did we actually make money off of this or did I lose money because of all the stuff I purchased? Probably I lost money. Why, why is that thing... Oh, I, I forgot to click fly away. Whoops. Fly away. I was stuck. I wonder why you would want to close your cargo bay, though. Okay, finalized mission. Okay, well... I, I bought much more than I really needed for the mission. Hopefully that will help for future missions or something. I could get this power problems one. Um... A trivial drone task. I don't care about drones. There's this, it's blocked one though. Let's see. A pump is not working. Something must be blocking the coolant flow. Let's see how... Whether it's relatively the same as the other one. Stop! Okay. I wonder if we can, like, hotkey the screwdriver and such. I mean, I guess the middle mouse menu isn't too bad. Oh, it's that one. I thought it was this one down here. Okay. Okay, like... I mean, I guess I don't even need to get that one off. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. This one I could have just left on, I think. At least it tell me what needs to be done. If I have to diagnose stuff... But then again, I don't have my diagnosis... Sort of... License, right? Oh! Moon is sort of... The sun is supposed to be about the same size as the moon, though. That's why the eclipses work out for us. Okay, I could probably reach that from here. Okay, so... Damaged pipe. Repair. Okay, maybe it's this one. Or just... wonder where I got that one from. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, I, th I think that's good. That seems to be some sort of eclipse. I guess, yeah, I mean, I guess the moon might be casting a shadow right there. Oh, that's not bad. That's India right there. If their lights turned on because of the eclipse. <laughs> we can zoom in from quite a distance. Okay. Well, inventory. We didn't have to turn off this pipe though. Apparently. I did not do that. Yeah, I think it's in the on position. Did not turn it off. I will have to remember to do that before I get killed by it. I, I, oh, what the heck did I just bring up? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, screwdriver. Yeah, I wonder if you can like get killed by stuff like electrocuted and such. 
Okay, mission accomplished. Fly away? Uh, did I fly away successfully? Yes. Okay, back to my hub. I think I'll wrap it up for this episode. We'll do some more training and then pick up some more missions. Obviously, these pipe missions are not sufficient. We need to do much more exciting and complicated things. And probably diagnosing the problems will make things much more complicated. So we'll see. Okay. So, as I prepare to interact with my personal hub, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.